Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Schreiber and I'm really happy to be here tonight to talk with you about something that's so important to your overall health and that's the health of your digestive system. I'm a naturopathic doctor, retired from clinical practice after 15 years and an essential oil educator and I have a lot of clinical experience working with patients, counseling them both on nutrition and the fundamentals of wellness as well as looking at specific gastrointestinal and digestive health issues. So if we look at the structure and function of the digestive system, the gastrointestinal tract is, it goes from one end of your body to the opposite end, and it's really what connects your external world with your internal world. The function of the digestive system as we know it and its interconnected organs, which are the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas, is to be able to digest the food that you're eating and to be able to absorb those nutrients to create energy on a cellular level to help your cells detoxify and to help your cells to stay healthy and thriving. The other function of the gastrointestinal system is to block or be a barricade for things that may be unwanted that may be coming in on the food that you're eating or the water that you're drinking. And so there's a number of different functions that are performed by a healthy gastrointestinal tract. So as many of us know, the gut not only digests and absorbs nutrients, vitamins and minerals, but it also houses about 70% of our immunity. And it's so critically important to our overall immunity to be focusing on the health of our gut. So tonight, I'm gonna to share with you a few ways that you can make sure that you're supporting a much healthier internal terrain, especially in the gastrointestinal tract. The second part of this is there's a lot of stress happening in the world right now. And we also know that a lot of our neurotransmitters that support healthier mood and the gut-brain connection are also manufactured in the gut. So if you look at the intestinal tract, it has its own nervous system with over 100 million cells that are feeding into the intestinal tract and embedded in the walls of the intestinal tract. So when we talk about the gut-brain connection, we're talking about the gut as the second brain. And when we're under stress, there's a lot of blood flow that gets diverted to organs that are critical for survival. And that would be your muscles, your heart, and your brain. So right now at this time, we want to focus again on a healthy gut. And through that, we can create healthier immunity. We also want to focus on stress reduction. Through that, we can, we can create greater digestion and healthier digestion and through that, again, greater immunity. So let's talk about how we support immunity by supporting a healthy gut. So first we want to look foundationally at our diet and our nutrition, and that's always the basis of health. So the old saying, you are what you eat, is actually not true. It's you are what you eat and you digest and you absorb. So there's a few things that doTERRA has to offer you that really are so incredibly valuable. If you look at the toxins that are being sprayed on our foods, if you look at the modern industrial farming practices where fruits and vegetables are picked and harvested before they're ripe, before the nutritional content is as, as at its optimal. And so we want to look at the nutritional content of our food. We want to look at the toxins that are being sprayed on it. We want to look at the processing and the genetic modification. And all of these lead to not only nutrient insufficiency in the foods that we're eating, but increased toxicity in our digestive system. So what can we do on a daily basis? Well, we can look at our nutrition habits. So one teaspoon of sugar consumed will depress your immune system and your immune function for several hours after you consume it. So you definitely wanna be avoiding sugar at this time. It also slows bowel peristalsis. So if we're wanting to move toxins out of the gut, we don't want the bowel peristalsis to be slowed in any way. 
We also want to be looking at eating high fiber and eating a rainbow of fruits and vegetables, the high fiber so that we can keep the, the stool moving through and we can keep our um, digestive system free of unwanted buildup of toxicity. But also when we eat more fiber, we're feeding the good forms of bacteria in the intestinal tract. We also want to avoid um, glutinous grains as much as possible because whether you have a gluten intolerance or not, glutinous grains uh, cause a release of something called zonulin, which causes the tight junctions, and these are cells sitting like this in your gut to open up, okay? And so you need certain nutrients like vitamin D and vitamin A and zinc to close those tight junctions once they've been opened. And so that's where our Lifelong Vitality Pack comes in, not only in addition to an incredible whole foods diet with a rainbow of colors and fruits and vegetables, lots of fiber, but we want to fortify with our Lifelong Vitality Pack, which has our essential fats, our nutrients that help us with energy production and stress response. And then we wanna look at Terrazyme, which is our food-based enzyme to help us to break down the food that we're eating. Digestion is a very energy-dependent process, and we wanna conserve that energy more for healing and detoxification and repair of the body. And so if you take daily the Lifelong Vitality Pack and then at meals, the Terrazyme, you're going to be making sure that you're digesting, absorbing, and being able to utilize these nutrients on a cellular level to keep your cells healthy and thriving and to keep all of your systems operating in tip-top shape. Next thing I wanna talk about is hydration. Your gut mucosa, which is a gel-like substance that traps unwanted materials. Your gut mucosa and protects your gut integrity. Your gut mucosa is made up of 95% water. So you wanna be drinking sufficient, clean, filtered water. So women, we wanna be looking at 50 to 55% of our body weight or more each day, and men about 60% of your body weight in fluid ounces of clear, filtered water. Now to enhance that even further, I love to add citrus oils, and especially right now when people may be stressed, they may not be sleeping, they may be low energy. So one of my favorites for sluggish digestion and immunity is wild orange, but you can certainly use any of the citrus oils. And I just put a drop or two in water, make sure that it's glass or stainless steel only and no plastics. And you can drink that throughout the day as needed to maintain your hydration, but also help the body in its cleansing and detoxification purposes. Um, next thing I want to talk about um, lifestyle. And so when we're under stress, a lot of us tend to breathe very shallowly in our upper sort of um, lung capacity or lung field. And what happens when we're under stress, as I mentioned before, is that blood flow diverts away to critical organs that are required for survival. And this dates back to caveman era. So if you look at a baby or you look at a dog, they breathe with their belly expanding and contracting. Most of us have a lot of neck and shoulder tension because we're breathing using this much of our lung capacity. So what you can do to decrease the stress response, bring more blood flow back to the back to the gut for better digestion and better delivery of nutrients to your cells. You're going to breathe in for a count of four, hold your breath for four, breathe out for four to eight, and hold again and take a pause. And so that is a really easy stress relieving thing that you can do that not only supports healthier digestion, but then in turn supports healthier immunity because they're all linked. So let's talk lastly about, you know, how do we eliminate? So we want good nutrition, we want extra nutrients, and the standard North American diet, even if you're eating clean, even if you're eating organically, does not have the nutritional value, the antioxidants, the essential fats, to maintain health. And so we looked at good nutrition with the Lifelong Vitality Pack, you know, improving our digestion with the Terrazyme, 
We looked at proper hydration, um, clear filtered water, and adding our citrus oils for the cleansing, energizing, detoxifying benefits. Uh, we looked at breathing techniques. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to remove anything that's taken up residence in our gastrointestinal tract that might compromise our immunity. And you'll know what I mean in a second here. So a few of the other things that I love to use to enhance and to cleanse the gastrointestinal tract, but also through that process to improve immunity. You don't want your immune system tied up in dealing with things that have taken up residence in your gastrointestinal tract. You want your immune system focusing on sort of present threats. So I love the GX Assist. It's a blend of essential oils that help with cleansing benefits to the gastrointestinal tract. And I like to alternate that with doTERRA's probiotic, which is the PB Assist or the PB Assist Junior. And what this does, the PB Assist, is it helps to um, have healthier uh, elimination, but it also helps to increase and, and create space for a healthier gut microbiome, okay? So when you have a healthier gut microbiome because you have less of the unwanted, um, you know, things that have taken up residence in your gut and you have more of the good bacteria flourishing and replicating themselves, then you're going to have better digestion, better elimination, better mood, and better immunity. So those are just a few of my tips for keeping your immune system healthy through a healthier intestinal system. doTERRA has so many essential oils and approaches for us to maintain a healthier gut, healthier immunity, healthier stress responses. And just remember, they're all connected. So when we're under stress, we're not digesting as well. When we're not digesting as well, our cells aren't getting the nutrients that they, they need to thrive and function optimally. And so, and the other thing too is, is if you have an unhealthy gut and 70 to 80% of your immunity is in your gut, then your immune system is going to be challenged on a daily basis. So I hope you've learned something in this video today. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, be kind to your gut, and check out some of these options that are available to you. I wish you all the best in your health and in your happiness. Take care.